So welcome, welcome to <laughs> the <laughs> panel. Hello. Feel free to, to move in. This is it. I'm I'm decided I'm not gonna sit on the table. I'm just gonna <laughs> sit right here. Um, you need I'm a moderator. Next. What? You need a moderator. Oh please, there's so much going on. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> um, I assume you were offering. So. Uh, I, I can moderate. <laughs> no, no, you know what? It, it's okay. Um, I am Max Middleman, if you don't know. Um, I'm assuming you do. Um, I am a voice actor from Los Angeles, and I'm here at AWA to meet you guys and sign some stuff, do some panels, and have some fun. So I feel like, uh, why don't we just go around the room and introduce ourselves? <laughs> oh no, it is like college. It is, it is college, right? This is it, guys. This is us. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's, everybody, um, there's, cause there's, I know you, I know you, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people here that I don't know. So, what's Hi. Your name? I'm Deontay. I message you all the time on Twitter. It's I know. Terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I saw your birthday method message. Thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. I was like, <laughs> yes, it was great. You're like 23 or something. Uh, sure. Sure. That works. <laughs> that works. Deontay, um, where do you live? I live in Columbus, Georgia. So Columbus, Georgia. Georgia. I go to Auburn University, which is 45 minutes away, but it's on Central Time. So I wake up at the time of my class, but I have to leave an hour early, and gotcha. I wish an hour. I study music and musical theater. Um, I got an interest in voiceover two years ago. Nice. And so I was like, this is really cool. I'm not going to um, continue on with my dream of singing Verdi opera, which actually was a dream until uh -huh. my voice changed when I was 17, guys. But I used to, it used to be really high. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, it's going to stay this way forever. Yeah, that'll throw a wrench at things. Yeah, it did. I was like, I'm going to leave high school. This was like the plan. That's but like, well, that's like, uh, who's watched Stranger Things? Mm -hmm. Anybody seen Stranger Things? So, yeah. So, um, there's a kid on the show. His name is, uh, Which one? The one, the Toothless. Dustin. Yeah, yeah. Matarazzo. Matarazzo. Mm -hmm. Um, he was in Les Mis, and he had this high voice because he's a kid, and then I was like, dang, this kid's going to be able to sing forever, and then he was on an interview, and he's like, no, my voice changed, I can't do that anymore. Yeah. And uh, uh, so it's, it's a real thing, I get it, it's a real struggle. Something like, yeah. instead of being able to sing high ups now, I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that. Um, well, it's nice to meet you, Dion. Thank you. Finally. Um, <laughs> what's your name? Hi, I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you, Alex. I live in Decatur. It's about 30 minutes away from here. I go to GSU. Uh, <laughs> One interesting thing about you that nobody else would even dream to think of. Um, I do sketches for every con I go to. So oh, cool. I have like a character sketch for everyone I want to get signed. That kind of sketch? Yeah. Not like uh, not <laughs> <laughs> No, not an acting sketch. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. That's very cool. Do you have a booth? No, I just, just, I just do them to get them signed. You do them? Nice. Ooh. That's awesome. really quick. Um, really cool. No, nice to meet you, Alex. Uh, how about you? Right here, Hi. the camera. I'm Jason. I'm from hey, Los Angeles, too. You're what? I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, nice. So, um, and I do videos for YouTube. Cool. What brings you out to Atlanta? You guys. Voice mm -hmm. actors. Also, I have a lot of, fr I have a lot of friends uh, on the East Coast. This is kind of our, our meetup point every year. How about you guys? Well, we're, for, we're from uh, Cleveland and Charleston, Tennessee, see respective, respectively, meaning we're about uh, two and two and a half hours away. Okay. Um, and then one interesting thing. I love it. How about you? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> one, interesting, one interesting thing about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, nice meeting you. What's your name? Kaylee. Kaylee? Mm -hmm. you, Kaylee. Um, you guys live in the same area? Mm -hmm. Just around here? Yeah, well, but, yeah, up in, t up in Tennessee. In Tennessee, in Tennessee. Yeah. So did yeah. you, dr you drove? Yeah, just two and a half hour drive. Okay. That's, That's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got two more. Well, one, one more, but two more. 
What's your name? <laughs> Closest to me. Hey, Jordan. They're all rescued, so noble, super noble. Although, so I work at, no, or I volunteer at Nova Hills Shelters, and the idea is that one person is all. That's <laughs> awesome. I know, you can't bring all, all of them home. But that's so cool. Nice to meet you. How about you in the back there? Tracy Waterman. Hey, Tracy Waterman. about me, obviously, so um, if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, does anybody have burning questions that you've wanted to ask for just forever? Raise your hands now if you do. <laughs> it's college. Yes. We're here. Um, what prompted your change of careers from deciding to be a doctor to want to get into voiceover? I pay attention to people's websites when I go to them. Oh, good. It's super cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, what prompted my change from me? So I was a pre-med for four years um, in college, and um, it is not what I wanted to do at all. Um, I decided that uh, <laughs> I decided that immediately, uh, and yet I was four years into it before I changed my major. But um, I did that. What's up, guys? How's it going? Um, so I did that. What prompted the change was I was about to drop out of college. I was about to drop out and I called my parents and I was like, guys, I'm so sorry, I had to disappoint you like this, but I can't be a guy. It was just a mess. And they were like, Max, just change your major. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, what? <laughs> yeah, just change your major. Okay, thank you. And then I changed my major. Like that's how easy it was. Um, but I changed it because I couldn't, I always wanted to perform in some way, and I was a theater minor the whole time, but I never, in my head I was going, oh, I gotta get a degree that means something, that true, like, that can make me money. And all I really thought about up to that point was a career that makes me money, not a career that I enjoy um, in any way. And, you know, not doesn't necessarily be that you have to have a extreme burning passion for your career, but it's like, at least enjoy it. And I didn't enjoy pre-med at all. Uh, I was just good at anatomy. Not chemistry, not physics, not biology, <laughs> not all the other things that you have to do as, um, as a pre-med. Come on closer, you guys. Come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is, uh, this is, welcome to the 10 a.m. panel. Hey. This is, uh, how big it is. I thought we were people. Yeah. That's exactly what we said. Yeah. Um, uh, so, anyway, so that's, that's how that happened. And then, um, and then I discovered voice acting. I took a class, like, my freshman year of college, and it kind of planted a seed. And I was like, all the time I was studying to be a doctor, I was like, but what if, what if I could be a voice actor? That would be so cool. Um, and in all honesty, I'm glad I spent four years as a pre-med because now I know what I truly don't want to do. Because I could have gone straight to acting and then gone, oh, what if? What if I did spend time as a, as a at, at, what if I did pursue being a doctor? How would that have felt? And now I don't care. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, any other questions? You can ask me anything. You can ask me about my favorite food, what my superpower would be, yes. What's one of the earliest animes that you remember watching as a kid? Earliest animes, oh, I watched everything that was on Toonami. So, um, um, the earliest one, my favorite one, hands down, bar none, uh, was Dragon Ball Z. That was my favorite. That was, I was in middle school at the time, I had friends who enjoyed Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it was the greatest. But I also really liked Full Metal Alchemist, and um, uh, 
um, <laughs> Roni Kenshin and, and um, um, the other one, uh, Inuyasha. Um, I even liked, uh, oh, it wasn't, not Tenshi Uyo. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I watched anything and everything that was on. The one thing that I didn't watch that is weird was Gundam. I, I never really got into it. I think because my friends weren't really into it. I enjoyed it. I just never like was obsessed with it. Um, so, yeah. Those were the ones that I watched. Now, Attack on Titan. Uh, have you guys seen One Punch Man? It's this really cool. Yes. Um, I just watched it the other day. Uh, what else have I watched? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen Mob Psycho yet. Has anyone seen Mob Psycho 100? No, it's in that queue, but like it's uh -huh. in, it's the new, um, the creator of One Punch Man created this other anime. And, uh, anyway, I haven't seen it yet. Recommendations? Anybody got recommendations for a new anime? <laughs> my Bride's a Mermaid. What is it? My Bride's a Mermaid. My Bride's oh my a gosh. Mermaid. <laughs> oh my gosh. That one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Samurai Shampoo. Oh, Watch that. that. Watch yeah. Brotherhood. Watch One Piece if you ever have time. Nobody has no, time. Nobody has the time. Hold I can't up. start a series that has 5,000 episodes. I watched 500 hey. episodes of One Piece in 2012. It was great because I didn't know that it was still updating. <laughs> Over the summer just now, I watched another 100, and I was like, oh, yes, I'm on 670. Finally, I have, I'm have. i almost there. And then this week, it was like, updated, 778. And I was like, I'm back to where I started. <laughs> nice. You did it to yourself, man. You did it to yourself. Um, well, cool. All right. Samurai Shampoo is a good one. I got to watch that for sure. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Um, if the creator of One Punch Man made like, a, uh, like an evil alternate, evil version of Saitama and uh, they fought, how would you think he'd react at first if Saitama saw his evil twin? If he saw his evil twin, you love this question, don't you? <laughs> it's different versions, because you ask me this kind of question. Yeah, yeah, but if you if such went bad, it's like it's like Batman can succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would he how would good Saitama react to the size of the evil twin? Yeah. Um Well, his evil twin would have to pose a threat, uh, or else he wouldn't care. And then <laughs> it's only after his evil twin kills like millions of people that he'd be like, okay. You know, and then get out there and go fight him. Um, how would you react if you fight? I don't know. If they punch each other, what happens? Black hole? <laughs> I don't know. It was like that. It would would, would, bo would, would it disintegrate both of them? Or would both of them be intact and just like perpetually sucked into this black hole? Just for <laughs> all of time. Never ending. Because they can't. Because he can't. One punch man. Right? He's the strongest person alive. I thought the punch would just create a giant shockwave annihilating the entire thing. Oh, probably the entire world. The entire world. That's what would happen. The entire world would just, you'd see it on a map, just be like, would be gone. I thought that. And then they'd be in space, kind of just floating around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I think would happen. Any other questions? Hello. Hello back there. Yeah. No, I'm looking at you. Uh, hello, hello. Um, what are your names? Um, my name's Tidra. My name's Miley. <laughs> nice to meet you, Tidra and Miley. Nice to meet you. Um, you, you have a question. I do have a question. Um, how did you get um, to voice the characters in um, Fire Emblem Fates like Leo, Caden, Boris? How did that start about? The characters on Fates was started um, like any other audition. I auditioned for it, and um, they had me audition for like 10 characters, and we're like, you got these three. I was like, those sound like a good three to me, because um, I knew nothing about it. And then I went in to record, and they told me, um, Leo is like this, he's a younger brother of so-and-so, and he carries himself this way. So I thought, oh, Leo, very, you know, he's regal. Um, and then K 
Caden is a fox and he's spunky and he's ah! so I, that's how he came about. And then Forrest, Forrest, they said, is complicated. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys like Fire Emblem and Fates. Forrest um, is the son of Leo, but he almost, he's got long curly hair and dresses in pink flowy clothes. Um, it's confusing at first. If you were to just see the picture, you go, can I voice that character? I don't know. Um, but then they said, no, no, he's, he's, a, he's the son of Leo. I went, oh, all right. Um, but that's, uh, that's how it happened. I auditioned and then um, that's, that was it. And I got the characters. Yeah, it was fun actually. It was a really fun day of recording. I, I like video games. I like, um, I, I like when, when I have variety in my schedule, when I'm not just doing anime or just doing Western animation or video games. I like when it's mixed up. Like with video games, you're saying hundreds of lines could be one word lines, could be efforts, <coughs> whatever that is. Um, and you just go down, down the line and say them and the director will give you a redirect once in a while. Um, but I like that. I like the efficiency of it. I like how it's fast paced. And though, though that game in particular was real, of course we had to get through three characters in one four hour session. So we were really light speed with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I like doing that as just a change of, of, of pace for me. Um, and then, you know, Western animation, traditional animation, I say that stuff is kind of where, like my home, my home base is, is traditional animation. Um, But it's always fun to break out of that and do something else. Yes. So um, you play video games, right? Like, what is, what games do you have? Like, favorite games. Favorite games? Um, I play a lot of Halo. Now, right now, I play a ton of Overwatch. Yeah. Anybody else playing yes. Overwatch? Yeah. Yeah. Who's your character? Uh, mostly supports. Uh, yes. Six. Reinhardt. Diva. Nice. How about you? Mercy. I've got 64 hours of just support. <laughs> just that, support. That's all I do. I started playing uh, Zarya and McCree like three you days ago. You get good ago. at Zarya? Oh, this is boring to everybody else. Um, <laughs> you get good at Zarya and you're the... It's clutch. Mm -hmm. You will destroy everyone with Zarya. Zarya just won't die. Or, won't yeah, die. or you just won't die. So Zarya in this game, she has like a bubble shield around her that just absorbs all damage. All day, and she can activate it like every five seconds or something like that. And she can also put a bubble shield around someone else in the game. So you're just like, this is impossible. This is an impossible game. That particle beam. It's just <laughs> anyway, boring to everybody else. Um, but uh, I play as Junkrat and Reaper. Yes. Um, <laughs> I play as Reaper. It's okay. We still like you. We do. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Have, you seen that, have you guys seen that rap online? The Reaper rap? Just type Reaper rap online. You guys are going to think it's hilarious. In YouTube? Or? In YouTube, yeah. Um, anyway. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Lily. Lily. Nice to meet you, Lily. Nice to meet you, too. Um, 10 a.m. panel. Welcome. This is, this is the 10 a.m. Uh, <laughs> does anybody else have any questions? 